What's up guys, today I'm going to teach you guys how you can create this sick paper trail collage effect inside of After Effects. Let's go! My name is Evan Wynn, welcome to 11% Tutorials. As I mentioned, today I'm going to be teaching you guys how you can really quickly create this sick collage trail effect in After Effects. It's a really great way to spice up your music videos, sports edits, corporate videos, vlogs, whatever project you're working on. It's just a really dope overall effect. Today we will be using the assistance and help of the Creative Flow Mixed Media Paper Texture Pack. This paper texture pack is absolutely insane. Shout out to my boy Creative Flow for sending it our way. This paper texture pack, I use it for any other project that I need to spice up and make look grunge and paper texture like it's a really dope preset pack you can go check it out at his website link in the description today we'll just be using after effects no plugins at all required with the exception of this preset pack and the preset pack is completely optional it's just a really easy way to add some paper textures to this effect but before we dive into the tutorial if you guys are interested make sure to join our discord community right here we throw editing game nights competitions we're giving away prizes it's super fun there so definitely make sure to check out the discord link also if you're looking to take your video effects to the next level make sure to check out our store at 11%.net there we spoke crazy preset packs to help you level up your music video game. We just dropped our 3D Chrome VFX pack. So if you want to check out the link in the description, you can use this promo code right here for an exclusive 40% off your first purchase. Yeah, I definitely put a lot of effort into making these preset packs top tier quality. So if you check it out, it really mean a lot to me. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the tutorial. All right, guys. So now that we are inside of After Effects, first thing you're going to do is have your clip loaded up. Now, one thing it's important to make sure is that your clip or whatever subject you're going to be tracking kind of like moves throughout the frame. So right here we have Rocky and he's kind of moving over here to the right so you can see there's going to be a like trail of like paper effects that we can make that moves all the way to the left so you know just make sure you have that motion in mind so that you can create that effect so now the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to hit command d to duplicate this layer and then we're going to turn off the visibility of the bottom layer because we're going to rotoscope this top layer everything starts with rotoscoping for those of you who don't know how to rotoscope i'm going to go over it really quickly in this tutorial but we do have a full video or that's actually a really quick five minute video link right here which you can check out really quickly teaches you how to rotoscope so the first thing you're going to do is you're just going to double click this top layer you're going to click on our roto brush tool right here in the top left hand corner and then just draw until you get a green line and it starts making a pink outline of whatever subject you're selecting just keep continuously adjusting and dragging and you know selecting that roto brush this rotoscope layer and then as the frame moves on you're just going to grab this playhead right here and move the frame forward and after effects is going to automatically make its own adjustment and then you're just going to do that and continue all the way until you get to the end of your entire clip if it ever messes up you can always go ahead and hold option or alt to turn this red and then just delete some areas drag this playhead until the very end and once you're done go ahead and hit the freeze icon right here we're just gonna go ahead and speed this part up real quick. 11 minutes later. Now, once you have fully rotoscoped your entire subject right here and you've hit the freeze icon, what you're gonna do is we're gonna export this. We're gonna hit file, then we're gonna come over here to export and hit add to render queue. Now, the first thing, this is very important. What you're gonna do is click on the output module, click lossless, and then we're gonna change the format from QuickTime all the way to PNG sequence right here. PNG sequence right here. And then what we're gonna do is one last other important thing, really important. Over here at channels, we're gonna set from RGB, we're going to change it from RGB to RGB plus alpha. Very, very important. So remember, PNG sequence, RGB plus alpha. You're just going to hit OK, and then you're just going to go ahead, name it, and make sure you set it to the correct folder you want, and render this out. And now once you go to the folder where you just exported all your files, you're going to see that we have a bunch of crazy freeze it into our project look at that 92 frames damn now we have 92 layers in after effects that's pleasant isn't it so now what we're gonna do this is this is the painful part uh, it also kind of looks cool look at this little warpy wormhole thing now what you're gonna have to do guys right here sadly you're just simply going to have to select all of these frames right here and then just manually move them ahead i know it, it's gonna suck but this is what this effect really honestly requires because it's it's worth it, trust me. So we're just gonna go ahead and hold shift and just keep selecting all these frames one by one and just dragging it one frame ahead. Just take your time with it and trust me, the result will be amazing. Whew. All right, and with that guys, we have fully just adjusted and changed all of these these keyframes one by one at a time. Now if you play it out, we have this dope crazy looking wharf morph effect. Now this looks pretty dope itself, but now what we're going to do is we're just going to shift and select all of these keyframes that we just 
manually adjusted i don't know maybe i'm stupid if you know another way just go ahead and let me know in the comments down below because sometimes i'm stupid with after effects but you can just right click this and we're just going to pre-compose this all together in one and we're just going to name this collage we're going to hit name and boom there we go now our entire collage effect exists in one pre-comp layer now what you're going to do is you're going to click on this very bottom layer right here and we're going to click the tracker tool and we are going to hit track camera now we are going to wait for after effects this is basically going to analyze your scene and put it into a 3d format setting just so that we can track our collage effect onto it now that after effects has fully completely analyzed all our tracking points and you can see we have all these nice little 3d flowers i like to call them now what we're going to do is we're going to find a nice set of points that are solid and pretty much present throughout the entire shot so i'm going to use the top of this blue goyard box and i'm going to select these solids right click it and create solid and camera and voila there we go we have a nice solid that's tracked to the box the entire shot and it looks pretty cool now what we're going to do is we're going to take this solid and i'm just going to completely rotate it and change it around and just mess up its point of reference but what i'm going to do is i'm going to scale this thing up and now you can see that this solid is nice and tracked to this 3d scene and it moves like a 3d object kind of weird we're going to right click this solid we're going to pre-compose it and we're just going to call this collage 3d Hit OK, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna double click this solid. Now that we're inside of the pre-comp of the solid, delete the pink solid, we don't need it. What we're gonna do is we are going to, we're going to hit Command C, we're gonna copy all this collage pre-comp information and we're just going to paste it nicely right here inside of this 3d solid thing right here come back to our collage recording you can see our 3d tracking is nice and 3d and really trippy looking now we can just go ahead and of course and adjust it until it matches up and lines up with rocky what i'm going to do lastly is i'm just going to take this rotoscope middle layer that we had before and i'm just going to paste it on top so that we have rocky like in front of his 3d morph and that looks pretty crazy at the end right here it kind of gets a little messed up so i just might go ahead and just trim this down honestly don't like the effect just trim it down yeah that definitely looks weird the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to come back to our effects and presets and we're going to search for this effect it's called like and subscribe oh oh like and subscribe is not a oh my bad it's actually in the in the video right here there's a button right below and you just make sure you hit it make sure you hit like and subscribe if you find this video interesting by any means I'm sorry guys, I had to I had to pull that one. If you honestly like this effect, this could be effect in itself, but I'm gonna go ahead and add some paper effects just so that it feels a little bit more collage-like. I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm going to, first off, come inside of this pre-comp image and I'm going to double click the collage layer. Now I want like his every other frame to like appear. So we have like a more stop motion effect. Sadly, unfortunately, what I'm gonna do again is I'm just gonna hold shift, select all of these, and then I'm gonna hold command and just simply unselect every fourth frame. So I'm just counting every fourth frame and this should honestly go by a lot faster. <laughs> And once we selected every other three frames, I'm just going to go ahead and delete them. And boom, there we go. Now we have a nice stop motion effect. And this honestly looks pretty dope. If we come back to our main composition, you can see we have this crazy stop motion effect. And it looks pretty insane if you ask me. Now it's time to just go ahead and spice things up. I'm going to first go ahead and just set this background to a nice black and white. So I'm going to apply a lumetri color effect from the effects and presets, drag it to the bottom layer. I'm going to hit basics color corrections and then just turn the saturation all the way down on the bottom layer. So now we have this nice pop effect. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to come back here to this main collage. And this part is actually really fun because you can just go ahead and mess around with whatever creativity you have, whatever ideas you got. So I have right here some nice money textures and a diamond texture. I'm going to drag this money texture into let's do like this third layer right here and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to hit preserve transparency layer now if you don't see this little t just go ahead and hit toggle switches mode and you're going to see a little t icon right here and basically what that's going to do is it's going to apply this money texture to every other layer that's below it so i'm just going to scale up this money that's going to be pretty cool but let's say i don't want it to apply to like every other layer of this composition well i can just go ahead and select hold shift and select all the layers that i do want to apply to and i just pre-compose this and then that doesn't matter really what the name is and there you go now you can see we have two frames with like a money texture and then let's say if i want to go ahead and add a nice little diamond texture 
I'm gonna go ahead and apply this maybe at this third frame right here. Do the same thing, hit transparency mode layer and I'm just gonna scale it up a crap ton. And there we go, that looks pretty cool if you ask me. I'm just gonna go ahead and hold shift and then just pre-compose all of these ones right here. There we go, now we have some nice textures occurring throughout our collage effects. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna come back here to the main recording you can see we have this crazy collage paper effect. And lastly now what I'm gonna do is just time to apply some textures to this. Now shout out to my friend Creative Flow. This dude Andrew over here is creating some sick dope completely grunge textures. He does paint presets, paper effects, he has a bunch of crazy stuff. Definitely recommend go checking out his store and his YouTube channel at creativeflow.com. But he was nice enough to go ahead and send me this nice Creative Flow mixed media texture pack. This texture pack is absolutely insane. If you want to go cop it just go ahead and check out his website. There's a bunch of crazy nice like paper textures right here so i'm going to use number nine right here and if i just apply it over you can see we have this dope looking paper texture i'm just going to hit command d to go ahead and duplicate it so that it loops and then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to change the blending mode i'm going to go hit layer blending mode and then just change this to screen now we have this nice paper effect going on right here i honestly might even go ahead and apply some paper textures to the original collage pre-comp just so that we have some nice diversity and like some layers going on change the blending mode to screen once again hit command D to duplicate it and then I'm just going to drag this ahead and remember of course to apply the T little preserve transparency layer so that it only applies to our layers right here and if we come back to our collage recording you can see we have some dope textures going on right here I think even if we turn off the top two layers right here you can see we have that paper texture occurring just within the collage effect and that looks sick in itself I'm not gonna lie and with that guys here is the final result If you guys made it to the end of the video, I just want to say thank you again so much for watching. Really, if you found any value or help from this video, please be sure to smash the like button and hit subscribe. It's free. All this content is free, so it means a lot to me in this channel. Also, if you're interested in spicing up your music videos and taking your effects to the next level, definitely make sure to check out 11percent.net. There we spill all the sauce. And when I say spill all the sauce, I mean it's spilling everywhere. You can't even mop this stuff up. We have preset packs ranging from Lightroom presets all the way to title card presets, and they're absolutely insane, super high quality. I dump my heart and soul into just making these preset packs top tier quality and just so that you can level up your music video game and take your effects to the next level. We just dropped our 3D Chrome VFX overlay pack, which you can check out at the store. And it just has a bunch of 3D green screen assets. Like all you have to do is literally key out the green and you have 3D effects in your music videos. So definitely make sure to check out 11percent.net. And because I love you guys, I'm gonna be giving you guys this promo code, which you can use right here for an exclusive 40% off your first purchase. 40% guys, you're basically robbing me. So yeah, definitely make sure to check out the link in the description. Remember to join our Discord server. Once again, thanks so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.